What's up everybody? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Alloys the Dream Mage. First of all, let's start with the type of hero. The Dream Witch is an intelligence hero, which basically means that she is mostly dealing magic damage, but she is not that durable. Next up, how are you getting the medals? As you can read right there, you cannot get the medals from elite stages. So this is a pay to play hero. You can only get her during special events, um, also called the limited challenge. Um, or you can get it from bundles from the mall, which of course cost um, real money. But should you buy her? Shouldn't you buy her? Let's get to the battle skills. First of all, her first battle skill is increasing your training speed by up to 20%, which is pretty nice to get a nice army and to retrain troops after you lost them in battle. Next up, she increases your army max HP by up to 25%, which is also pretty huge because um, this is boosting your whole army. Next skill, also boosting your whole army, but this time boosting your whole army attack by up to 20% is also really, really huge. So I think this can be a hero worth upgrading to gold. Um, another thing that you have to know about the battle skills, the first skill is always being activated as soon as um, the Dream Witch is being hired, so you don't have to set her um, as a hero um, being sent into battle with your army or as a leader, for example. <clears throat> the next two um, skills are just being activated when this hero is being sent into battle. So either you set her as your leader, you send her to the wall to defend your castle, um, or if you send her with your army into battle. I'm being scouted right now, I don't care, I got all my troops sheltered, so that's no problem. Um, <clears throat> then let's get to her hero skills, which are the skills that are being used when you are, for example, battling in the Colosseum. The Mind Blast is the ultimate ability, which is the ability that you can activate as soon as the mana points of the Dream Witch are fully charged. So this is inflicting a stun for one second in a medium area and dealing 3822 magic damage. As I already said, she's an intelligence hero, which basically means that her abilities are dealing magic damage. The stun is being inflicted to a hundred percent if the opponent's hero's level is below your hero's level. So in my case, I got her to level 60. So all opponent's heroes <clears throat> level 59 and below are going to be stunned a hundred percent, which is pretty nice. Um, next up, her active skill. Um, this is going to be activated from time to time. You cannot... Um, Control when it's being activated is just activated by the Dream Witch herself from time to time. And it is restoring HP from, from, uh, from, from your allies. For your allies, that's the words I was looking for. Um, in a large area. And it is almost restoring 6500 HP, which is quite a lot. The next active skill <clears throat> called Nightmare is um, just damaging all opponents um, for four seconds. The initial damage is 442 and is then dealing four times 603 magic damage. It's also pretty nice, especially because it's damaging all the opponents. Um, I think this is a pretty nice skill. That's why it's also really nice to, um, for example, have her in the Colosseum battles. Then her passive is increasing her intelligence by 120 and is also boosting all allies' intelligence by 120. What does this mean? Let's get to the attributes. But before we are getting there, <clears throat> I made another video which is already uploaded and I am telling you everything you need to know about attributes. 
I think this is really, really huge and really important, for example, in battling in the Colosseum or battling against monsters. Um, it is really important to know everything about attributes. <clears throat> if you want to watch this video, I posted a link in the description below. Just click on it and then you will know everything about the attributes, what the abbreviations mean and what the attributes are for. With that being said, what is the intelligence that I was just talking about that is being boosted for all your allies? It is increasing the magic attack, the magic death and the magic tri uh, crit. I think this is pretty nice um, because <clears throat> um, on some situations when you are, for example, battling against lots of um, magic damaging opponents, this can be quite nice. If you have some more um, intelligence heroes in your team, this is also quite nice. Let's get to the attributes and talk a little bit more in depth, not that too much. Um, <clears throat> but um, first of all, the HP right on top there, she only has a little bit above 7000 HP, which is really not that much. So she will be um, going, fast, uh, going down quite fast when she is being damaged. So you have to keep that in mind that you place a strong front line in front of her. Next of all, as I already said, she has quite some magic attack, which basically means that her magic damage is being boosted and is being a bit stronger. Um, I think that's basically every important thing that I have to mention. Maybe um, that the recovery each round is quite low. I think there are definitely better heroes who regen a little bit more, but I think she's quite a nice offensive hero who is also a little bit supportive but also dealing um, lots of damage. So that's it about the Dream Witch. If the, I missed on anything please let me know in the comments below. If there are any suggestions or any um, questions you are still having or if you want to know anything else please let me know in the comments below and I'm going to answer them straight in the comments or maybe I'm going to make another video about it. With that being said, that's it for this video, that's it for the Dream Merge. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!